star Killy's ex-wife Andrea Dree Kelly is telling her story about her experience in the entertainment industry. In a social media post, the 50-year-old dancer made a video announcement of her book, Under the Red Carpet, featuring several images of Diddy and her ex-husband are Dot Kelly. A voiceover of Dree can be heard stating, fame costs and right here is where you start paying for it in blood, sweat, and tears. I did. Fame costs. And right here is where you start paying for it in sweat. A famous quote from the hit show Fame by Debbie Allen. But I'd like to say, fame costs, and right here is where you start paying for it in blood, sweat, and tears. I did. Literally. Everybody wants to be on the red carpet, but nobody wants to know what's under the red carpet. On the red carpet is such a facade. It's the lights, cameras, everybody knows your name. Opulence, diamonds, and the popping of champagne. But under the red carpet is pain, trauma, abuse, deceit, lies. And it might even cost you your life. It almost cost me mine. You want to be on the red carpet? Be careful what you ask for, because you just might get it. In the caption of the video, she stated that she is ready to disrupt the deception that has occurred over the years. I am a beast and a butterfly. God said it is so. The time has come to disrupt the deception. For years people have spoken on my life without knowing anything about me. She continued, how crazy is it to speak on someone you never met or had a conversation with as fact? Well, the time has come to speak without fear. No more forcing a smile to get through the pain of being me. No more be nice to please an unpleasant world. My book is going to set so many free and if you have a problem. Dot it's not with me. Take it up with God. This is his will and it is so fans of Dree dropped in the comment to support her decision. One user wrote, wow sounds like a horror film. The dark shadows of the entertainment industry and the cost of fame. Speak on it. R. Kelly's daughter is speaking out about her father. In a trailer for the upcoming documentary R. Kelly's Karma, A Daughter's Journey, Joanne Kelly shares how the convictions of her father on multiple sex crimes changed my whole life as she opens up about their broken relationship. So R. Kelly's daughter, Buku Abi, whose real name is Joanne Kelly, she spoke out in support of her father's accusers in a lengthy Instagram post. So she claims to be devastated. And today R. Kelly was sentenced to prison for his many crimes against underage girls. Nobody wants to be the child of the father that is out here hurting women and children. Everywhere we go, everything we do, it's always gonna have some type of like double meaning under it or someone's gonna read between lines that aren't there. He knows exactly why we can't have the relationship that we would have liked to have with him. Just because you're not a good husband doesn't mean you can't be a good father and the fact that he didn't even try. What he did to me, he did to me. But you didn't have to do it to my damn kids. What he has done to those kids, there is no other word for him. He's a monster. I know that there were so many things going on. There were some times I thought I wouldn't make it. He was my everything. To meet his grandfather. R. Kelly's ex Andrea recently did an interview with the Culture Club Uncensored where she mentioned the last conversation she had with the singer and how horrible a father he was to their children. Drea, when was the last time y'all spoke? God, that had to be over 10 years ago. Yeah. So y'all haven't spoken in 10 years. There's nothing to say. And what was the last conversation like? Don't play with me, don't play with my kids. I'm not that little girl. I'm not that 19-year-old that walked into that audition. I'm a lioness, and these are my cubs. Don't play with me. Mm. Now, with the children, where, how was he as a father? Horrible. Really? <laughs> I mean, they're and I, just... And I, uh, 
I think that men in a position of power con confuse being a provider with being a father. Mm. Because there's a mansion, because there's a nanny, because there's a driver, That's thing, those are things that you provide. Being a father means you need to be present. And at the end of the day, you're your own boss. So the excuse of, I was in the studio, or I'm traveling, I'm doing this, your children become before everything. Because at the end of the day, you never sell another album. Or if you're in prison, you're still somebody's father. What is, what is it like with the children and their relationship with him now? This is going to sound odd to a lot of people. I really don't know. They're adults now. I have stepped away when, my, when Robert Jr. turned 18. I was like, whatever you decide from this point, if you want to call him, you don't have to get permission. If you want to go visit him in jail, you don't have to get my permission. You're a young adult now. That is up to you. But I've always been that mother that I knew how to separate him not being a good husband and the relationship with him and his children as their father. Mm. Those are two separate things. Mm. Talking about he can't pay child support. They talking about what? R. Kelly. I don't care if he had to have 50 jobs. I don't care if you sing in the day, work at a bar at night, strip on Saturdays, preach on Sundays, figure your life out and pay your child support. Like, I don't get that. It's a little different for me versus you. So at a certain point, you can actually detach yourself from him. Right. We can't. I don't know what it's like to be R. Kelly's child. I only know what it's like to be his ex-wife. I can disconnect from it because I'm like, well, my divorce is good, no, but his blood runs through your veins. Literally the other.